This is the global problem. So if we estimate that there's about 40 million people in the world have celiac disease. We saw between 1990 and 2009 a six-fold increase in the number we were diagnosing and we've almost doubled and then doubled again the numbers we're diagnosing each year. When you look at celiac disease research compared with research into cancer and so many other conditions there's very little of it yet it's a really common disease and it's actually much more common than many of these other diseases they're getting a lot of input where we looked at uh, 100 patients uh, with newly diagnosed celiac disease when we examined them we found that uh, more than 60% of them, in fact, had neurological symptoms that they never thought was linked to their celiac disease. An early diagnosis means that you are going to have an impact in terms of a gluten-free diet sooner rather than later. The thing that will improve uh, early diagnosis is increasing awareness. The problem is that a lot of these patients will more likely to present to a neurologist rather than a gastroenterologist. And unless the neurologist is aware of the fact that uh, sensitivity to gluten and celiac disease could potentially be the cause, they may not be uh, uh, willing to test the patient for that. I think it's vital that children particularly don't suffer from ongoing symptoms and that at the, the first opportunity we have healthcare professionals thinking about celiac disease when kids present, not, not even with bowel symptoms themselves, but other, other symptoms of fatigue or behavioural issues or iron deficiency anemia or perhaps some of the more non-gastrointestinal symptoms. Awareness and just keeping battering on about the condition to fellow healthcare professionals to make them aware of the condition is probably the best way we've got at the moment. The thinking that it's just a disease of the small bowel is now outmoded. I think it's a disease, it's an autoimmune disease that affects a lot of different parts of the body. And the central and peripheral nervous system are one of those areas that uh, seem to be susceptible to the immunological reaction to gluten. These are conditions that are reversible. I think that's the most important message.